Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video and this is going to be, sorry, I had to pick up the bag, it fell over. This is going to be a Sephora haul. Um, so let me get started. I've kind of redid this video like three or four times and you all know I do not edit. So as what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally talk about this stuff and throw it back in this bag so I can put it up, okay? So let me get started so this won't be another 15 because it was 15 minutes at first. Um, the first items that I've purchased, and I'll start with the two brushes, are going to be two brushes from the Sephora's line. The first one is the 56, and this is a Pro Flawless Airbrush. Um, I'm going to say foundation, or it could be a blush brush. However you want to use it, it is very soft, very soft to the touch, very soft on your face. Um, but just not one of my favorite brushes. I think the handle is a little too long and the brush is a little heavy. So would I repurchase another one or recommend it? No, I like a lighter brush in my hand um, while I'm doing my makeup. Just my personal preference. Um, next one is going to be a mini <laughs> mineralized brush. And I'm going to use this with my, just kind of in my makeup bag with my mineralized skin finish by MAC. I just think it'll be a nice way to really you know buff the powder into my skin um i have not tried it so i will let you know if you want to know what i think about this the next thing i purchased was a sephora um infinite beige uh long lasting coal pencil and i got this because it is not as stark white as fascinating by mac but this is a definitely a beigey creamy color that I think would look really, really nice. I've actually used it. Look nice in the waterline if you don't want that um, stark white look. And I actually learned about this from a um, beauty guru on YouTube. I to say Facebook. But next two things I purchased were from Beauty Blender. I purchased the Surface Pro, which is an awesome tool if you are a makeup artist. Um, or if you're just a makeup lover and you like playing around with colors and mixing and, you know, just doing your own thing and just doing a bunch of great color creations. It does come with a spatula in the middle. Um, it also comes with a little, like I would call it an artist tray that you can actually um, hold up, like put your foundations or whatever you but basically, if you put your foundations on it, you can kind of hold it up to your client's skin. I'm trying not to let you see a reflection. But you can hold it up to your client's skin and kind of, you know, get better and a little bit more customized colors, which I think is awesome. Um, I used this at a wedding that I did recently, and it was very, very easy, and it just made my job a lot easier. The next thing I bought was the Micro Mini Beauty Blenders. Which let me take it out of the package because there's a horrible glare um, on bouncing off the packages. But that's what that looks like. And it is the cutest thing that I've ever seen in my life. I have not used them, so I don't know how big they get. Um, so let me know if you want to see a review on these and, you know, maybe how I would use it. I'm thinking my concealer, um, but hey, you never know. Next two items I purchased, um, I fell in love with the little one that I got at Sephora's, um, what's that called? At their kiosk when you were about to leave. I grabbed this because my hands were so dry and I was like, man, I left my lotion at home. I need something. So I grabbed this one day, I think Tuesday, loved it so much when I used it like all day Wednesday, that Wednesday night when I got off work, I went and got the bigger size. Um, Cause it's some things you just don't want to run out of. And I am a crazy, like super anal person when it comes to stuff like that. If I really, really love it and I use it every day, I hate running out of it. So I picked up two of these. Um, and again, one for my nightstand and one for my purse. The next item that I got was um, the Kat Von D uh, Studded Kiss Lipstick. And this is in the color Slayer. And I am so in love with the packaging of this lipstick. Like, I want more, but it's a little expensive to me, um, especially when I'm such in love, such a MAC girl, and I'm so in love with their actual colors. 
Um, but I just really think that this packaging is super cool. It's super cat, super cat Von D all over it. Um, but I purchased the matte black lipstick, and I just think that it's opaque um, matte black, very creamy. It does not feel drying whatsoever. So I definitely think that is just so cool. Like this is something cool to just kind of have sitting out on your vanity, you know, just with a bunch of mirrors, just awesome. So I love that. I get to throw these boxes away. Um, yay me. Next two items I purchased are by OCC. And this one is a lip tar in Black Dahlia and the nail polish to match. And it's just um, like a really deep, vampy, burgundy black color. Um, and then this one is Roller Girl. And it's just a purple, pretty lilac purple color. So definitely loving that. And I know everyone, summer's almost over. There's no rules in makeup. Do what you want to do. If you want to wear a bright purple in the winter, go for it. Um, the next two items I picked up, one again by, this is by Marc Jacobs, and this is Baby Jane. And it's just a beautiful stone color. That's the color pretty much true. Um, if you checked out my perfume video, this is what I was wearing, and I absolutely love this color. I think it just looks nice on, you know, deeper skin tones. It's a nice, you know, office color, church color, interview color. Really, really nice. I'm all about those things um, and just things being, I don't want to say appropriate, but there are some things that you should wear to an interview and some things you shouldn't. Um, and I definitely think that this isn't something that I would probably wear to an interview only because I don't, I wouldn't want them to remember me with the girl with the blue nails. I definitely would want them to remember me with the girl with the great resume or the great experience or the great attitude, but not the girl with the great blue nails. Um, so I tend to stick to lighter or either clear when I am doing things like that. The next purchase that I did receive, that I did buy, I'm sorry, was Singularity, and this is by Formula X. And this is a really cool nail polish. It is a nude, but it has a duochrome of blue. And it's a very faint blue. Um, so definitely, I'll let you know the next time I wear this. And maybe check me out on Instagram, because I tend to post pictures of nail looks and things like that of the week. I'm sticking with Marc Jacobs and kind of going over it. Um, I purchased the, I already threw this box away. Um, this is Headliner Kiss Pop, and it's number 68, and I love the casing of this. I just think it is so cool, um, but basically, it's just a chunky stick lip product, and you, still, you know, you roll it up. I think I'm going to end up breaking that, um, but yeah, it's just a nice berry color. And again, it has great staying power. I have worn it, and it stayed on my lips forever. I was very surprised. I have three more things, kind of. Um, the next two things are, and I know I just hit you all up with a massive perfume haul, um, but these are just two fragrances that I wanted to. I was running out of the product candy, and... Um, I just wanted to get the roller ball because I could not justify spending all that money on a full bottle when I have so many other bottles to go through. So I thought the little bottle might be a little bit easier to handle. So this is great for your purse, um, great to travel with. It is just what it is. It smells like candy. It kind of smells like caramel um, with a little bit of, um, oh, it just smells delicious, but grown up and delicious. And the next, the next to the last thing that I got was Flora Britannica by Balenciaga Paris. And that's what this looks like. And this is straight rose flower garden, um, but it is not offensive like a lot of the if something is a little too flowery um it just ugh, it gets on my nerves this is not that this smells 
just fresh and pretty and girly. Um, I can see someone from 15 to 50 wearing it. And you don't really get that too often where you can have all age ranges, you know, wearing a, a scent that doesn't smell either too juvenile or doesn't smell too, um, you know, your grand nanny's closet type of scent. So I definitely think that this is awesome. And if you're looking for something a little bit softer, more of a daytime appropriate perfume, I definitely think that you should check that out. And last but not least, these are just some little samples that I purchased. Well, I didn't purchase. I'm sorry. They were given out to VIBs, um, and it was some Escada perfume samples. So I know I'm all about my scents. I love a good scent. That's how I got tricked into that um, that Balenciaga perfume. Was I got a sample? Um, this is some Complete Eye Renewal Balm by Allengis. I received Living Proof Perfect Hair Day um, Hair Styling Serum, Buxom Lash Mascara, Benefit What's Up. I love this little stuff. I think it's a great highlighter, a great travel highlighter. Dr. Jart Beauty Balm, which most beauty balms to me, tend to cater toward lighter skin, so it's very hard to use it, but I guess if you're going to cover up your face with another foundation, why not? Um, I got the Makeup Forever HD Blush in um, shade 410, and it's a coral color, and again, this is HD Blush. And last but not least, I got Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Protector, and it has 30... SP, SPF of 30 sunscreen in it and that's just what that looks like so thank you all so much for watching hope you like this video definitely subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below if there's anything you want to see how I used it um you know what I do with it or anything else you want to just chit chat about take care and have a wonderful weekend um it is what it is I'm going to sleep because my eyes are so heavy Thank you so much. Bye-bye.